Hi there. I was recently asked to make a tutorial on how to create a photo like this one. Uh, this is a type of multiplicity shot. Uh, a lot of tutorials out there on multiplicity, but uh, my main concern is to teach you how to get several shots in there like this one. Um, basically what this is, is this is a video capture. Um, I used a GoPro camera and there are so many different settings on a GoPro camera. Uh, generally I shoot 720p at 60 frames a second because when I'm shooting and editing that uh, allows me to create a lot of cool slow-mo stuff and still retain some high definition. Um, if you want larger pictures go ahead and shoot 1080 uh, 30 frames a second. Uh, that's just fine. Basically what you're trying to do is capture more frames than the camera is ab actually able to do while pressing the shutter. Uh, in picture mode or in burst mode for the GoPro you're able to do 10 frames in one second. Well these guys can make it from beginning to end in less than a second and I have about 16 frames here. So I'm going to teach you how to import some uh, frames from video and how to put them together. So what we'll do is uh, come on up here to file and we want to find uh, import and we're going to video frames to layers. Now you want to pick uh, to get something like what I'm doing here you want to pick a stationary uh, shot with action throughout the shot uh, and this one here is uh, is a good example so we'll load that. <clears throat> it's it's you need to find a good balance uh, for how fast your object is moving versus how f many frames a second you're shooting. Uh, what I tend to do is uh, I shoot 60 frames a second, so I really need to uh, limit how many frames I'm actually bringing in. And this is going to limit to every two frames to start with, but I don't want that. I am actually going to want about every eight frames, eight or nine frames. Let's go with nine. Uh, because this guy is not moving very fast through the through the frame uh, and I'm shooting at such a high rate of speed uh, so basically it's uh, yeah nine frames and we're going to select a range I don't want to import the entire video I want to select a certain range um, and one thing you can do is uh, click it wherever you want you can see where the playhead stops and it will show you a preview image or hit play and what that's going to do is it's going to show you your action all right, so we're going to take that guy there, and right where it sits is where I stopped it. We hit our shift key, and I can drag backwards. This is selecting my area. So we're going to stop there. I can see him at the beginning. It's about where I want to be. Click OK. And give me just a few seconds here, and this will load up into, into the different frames. And you can see that we loaded uh, 14 layers. Well, with our last layer showing, we can uncheck the eyeball and it's going to show us the next frame and then the next frame so what we want to do is okay this is where I want to stop okay uh, this guy here I don't even need this frame so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one uh, then I will uncheck all the way down through just to verify that I'm getting images that I want and then our last frame there this is where we're gonna start so recheck all your eyeballs uh, so we can see all the layers. Okay, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to zoom in so we can see exactly what we're doing here. Uh, this guy, our spacebar, move it over a little bit. What we want to do is we want to use our quick selection tool, and we are going to select this guy. It's going to be kind of rough. I'm not trying to be perfect here. I just want to give you guys a quick idea of how you're doing this. Um, you don't want to get too far into this area though because this is where your next frame is going to be. Uh, the layer below, if you uncheck this, the layer below you can see where he is. So you kind of want to be a little bit specific when it comes to that edge. So we'll check back that one. Um, maybe we're fine here a little bit. That's actually not too bad. I can get a little bit closer though. There. All right. So what we're going to do is we have our selected area. With our area selected, we're going to click a layer mask for our layer 13, which is highlighted. Click layer mask, 
and voila I have magically basically created a layer mask so I'm showing the area that I highlighted onto the next layer I have done nothing to this original layer this layer 13 I haven't changed anything I just created a layer mask uh, so what you want to do is go to your next layer which is 12 you're going to highlight that you're going to do your quick selection tool again let's go ahead and select this guy uh, refine that a bit so I subtract Okay, like I said, it's not very important that this half uh, be very uh, well selected because it doesn't matter. This is not, we're going to take this area and this area and overlay it onto the next layer. Uh, this area is where you want to be uh, specific. Uh, and this is going to be, you know, different for everybody because everybody's going to have a different direction that they're going. So the direction that I'm going, I need to be good on the right. So here we go. Uh, well, our layer 12 is highlighted, our image is selected, and we're going to click Layer Mask. And there we go again. Uh, so let's run through this real quick. Layer 11. If you need to get a good idea of where your next layer is, uh, you can always start unchecking the eyeballs and you can see See this guy here? Completely on his own. It's all good. So we'll take this. Go ahead and recheck our eyeballs there so we can kind of see where we're progressing. Alright. Uh, create a layer mask for that one. And there's our next guy. Move the image over a little bit. I'm going to run through these really quickly. I'm actually not even going to do all of them for you because this is going to get too long. Uh, but you get the basic idea. So we will uh, use our quick selection tool, select this guy. Create a layer mask. And there's the next one. Do one more to show you. Quick selection tool. Find that up a bit. Create layer mask. Bam, there's another one. Oh, look, we missed an arm. All right, that's easy to do. Control Z. There we go. Now we got all of them. Create layer mask. And there we go. And basically what we're going to do is uh, bring that back and you can see how we're building across. To save it, right click, flatten image. And there's our final project. Even though I only did about half the frames, you can still go uh, all the way to finish that. And then of course, uh, once you get done, go ahead and uh, you know adjust your brightness, your saturation and all that. And you should come up with a nice finished image. Thanks for watching.